Hi guys, I Aziz welcome you to Codemaster and in this video I am going to talk about generalization and specialization in object oriented programming. In this video I will explain what is generalization and what is specialization and when to use this and how to model generalization and specialization using UML. So if you are willing to learn generalization and specialization then this video is for you. So make sure to watch this video till the end. So without wasting any time let's get started. Alright guys, let's begin this video with the very first question that what is generalization and specialization in object oriented programming? Well, it is a kind of relationship which represents relationship between general objects with specialized object. So I think the best way to understand generalization and specialization is using some real world example. So guys, if you look around, you will see a lot of vehicle nearby you. And what is vehicle? Vehicle is a thing which is used to transport people or goods from one location to another location, right? Now vehicle could be of many types. Vehicle can have two wheels, vehicle can have four wheels, vehicle can have 10 wheels, vehicle can have 16 wheels. Makes sense? Now we have more specific type of vehicle and we call it car. And car has only four wheels. And car is also a vehicle because it is used to transport people from one location to another location, isn't it? Now, apart from car, we have more specific type of vehicle that is a Toyota car or Ford car. Uh, and Toyota car and Ford car is also a car and car is also a vehicle, which means Toyota car and Ford car is also a vehicle because Toyota car and Ford car is also used to transport people from one place to another place. Now, if we have this type of relationship, then, then how are we going to model this type of relationship using UML? So guys, in UML, we model this type of relationship using uh, empty triangle and the solid line. So here it is representing that car is a type of vehicle and Toyota car and Ford car is a type of car. So guys, if you look at this hierarchy, we are basically defining a is a relationship, right? Because car is a type of vehicle and Toyota car is a type of car and the Ford car is a type of car, isn't it? So if you move uh, above the hierarchy, you will see the generalized version of car. And as you move down the hierarchy, you will see that the specialized version of vehicle, right? Because on the top we have generalized class and on the bottom we have specialized class. Now this brings us to the question that what is generalization? So guys, generalization is a technique of extracting some common characteristics from two or more class and move it into a generalized class called parent class or base class. So for example, let's say in case of vehicle, vehicle has one name, okay? And obviously car also has one name and similarly Toyota car and Ford car also has name. And all vehicle has one model, right? So car also has one model and Toyota and Ford car also has model. So what we do in generalization? We extract all the common characteristics from all the classes, all the child classes and move it into generalized class so that we can tomorrow create more specialized version of that class. Okay. So here comes the next question that what does it mean by specialization? So guys, specialization is just the opposite of generalization. In generalization, we extract the common characteristics. So in specialization, we provide the specific and specialized characteristics using parent class or base class into the child class, right? Now the question over here is how are we going to achieve generalization and specialization? So guys, you must have guessed that we implement generalization and specialization using inheritance. Yes, this is exactly inheritance. This is exactly what we do in inheritance, right? We create a generalized class and then we inherit that generalized class using extend keyword, right? So guys, what is inheritance basically? So inheritance is defined as the ability of class to extend the base class. Okay. And it is a strongest form of relationship because classes are tightly coupled with each other and all the intricacies of parent class are visible to child class. So this is what happened in inheritance, right? So this is what happened in inheritance that base class has all the common characteristics of all the child class and child class has all the specific characteristics that are specialized and specific to a specific class. So basically all the child class inherits all the attributes and methods of parent class, but except the private ones. Okay. So child class cannot inherit the private attributes and methods of the base class. 
and why is it so because private fields and methods belong solely to the class in which they are declared now the question over here is when to use generalization so guys whenever we want to represent a class that is more specialized form of another class in that case we must use generalization so long story short generalization and specialization is nothing but it is a form of inheritance and using inheritance we define the easy relationship and using inheritance we define all the generalized characteristics in the base class and we provide all the specialized characteristics into base class and then we extend all the generalized characteristics from base class using extend keyword so when you go up in the hierarchy you will get all the generalized version of classes and when you go down in the hierarchy you will get more specific or more specialized version of classes or we can say object so whenever we want to represent or model this type of relationship we can use inheritance and in inheritance we simply extract all the common characteristics from all the classes and move it into a generalized class and we call it parent or base class now guys i hope that by now you understood what is generalization and specialization and how we can model this type of relationship using uml okay uh, now let me take you to the ide and where i will show you the practical hands on demo of how we can achieve this using inheritance so guys we are on the ide so in order to model the relationship using inheritance we need a classes so let's create all the classes one by one so the first class is going to be a vehicle class okay vehicle class now this class has one property the name of that property is name okay name now let's uh, use constructor to to initialize this property okay so let's make it public right otherwise the child class will not uh, see this property okay now we need one more property and that is a getter to get the value of this property right so let's call it getter and we are good to go now our vehicle class is completed now let's create one more class and the name of that class is going to be car class okay now this class extends the vehicle class okay vehicle okay now let's create the constructor okay so now this class does not contain any property only vehicle class contain this property because the vehicle class is a generalized form of this class right so we are having a constructor here and we are taking a name through this constructor and we are passing this name to the upper class that is a parent class or base class using super keyword okay now let's create one more class and the name of that class is going to be a toyota toyota car toyota car right now again similarly this class extends not the vehicle class but this time it extends car class okay now let's create one constructor and this constructor takes name is argument and passing this name to upper class that is parent class that is car class and car class is taking name is argument and passing the name to its parent class that is vehicle class so this is how we are modeling the generalization and specialization using inheritance and using extend keyword now let's create one more class and the name of that class is going to be ford car okay now ford car also extends the car class okay now let's create the let's create the constructor here and we are good to go okay now we can see specialization and generalization in action so let's create a new instance of vehicle class vehicle is equal to new vehicle okay now let's print the name of vehicle uh, okay let's give it a name so the name of uh, it is let's give it a vehicle only so the name of vehicle is vehicle now let's print the name of vehicle on the screen so let's say vehicle dot get name okay let's run the program and you will see that the vehicle is printed on the screen so this is a generalized class and we have created an object of generalized class now we are we want to create an object of specialized class okay so let's call vehicle vehicle1 is equal to new car okay this time we are creating an instance of car and we are giving a name as car okay car and we are storing the an instance of car into a variable of type vehicle why because as i said that we are modeling is a relationship which means the car is also a type of vehicle so this means we can store an instance of car into a variable of type vehicle now let's uh, print the name of car on the screen let's run the program 
and now you will see that instead of vehicle we are getting car on the screen so here car is nothing but it's a specialized version of vehicle now again let's do one thing let's create uh, an instance of ford car okay let's create vehicle 2 is equal to new ford car let's give it a name ford car okay now let's print name of ford car onto the screen let's run the program and this time you will see that ford car ford car is printed on the screen so ford car is nothing but a specialized version of car and car is nothing but a specialized version of vehicle so this is how the hierarchy looks like now if we create an instance of toyota car toyota then we can provide the name of toyota car okay let's store it in a variable vehicle 3 and let's print name of toyota car on the screen and you will see that now toyota car is printed on the screen so guys if you observe all of these objects you will see that we have a name filled only in the parent class all the child class does not have this name property still we are able to print name of all the specialized class why is it so because this name is a common characteristics of all the child classes that is car toyota car and ford car so what we did we extract the common characteristics from two or more classes and move it into a more generalized class and the name of that class is vehicle so this is what we do in generalization and specialization and we achieve it using inheritance so guys i hope now you understood what is generalization what is specialization and how we achieve generalization and specialization it's simple we achieve it using inheritance and using extends keyword so guys this is all from my side for this video if you learned something valuable from this video then hit the like button in order to make youtube algorithm happy please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click the bell icon so my friend you never miss any upcoming videos thanks for watching see you in the next one